of a shooting that left bullet holes in a child's bed. The good news here, no one was hurt, though, but for those who live there, the shooting was too close for comfort. It happened at the Kings Row apartment complex in the Sunnyside neighborhood near Reed and Scott. It's a story we first broke on our news app this afternoon. Channel 2 Sophia Beausoleil spoke with residents at that complex, including the little boy who was in bed when the bullet flew fast him. Sophia? You know, Bill, you should never have an eight-year-old describe to you about bullets flying through his bedroom. And, you know, police tell us that they got the shell casings from the shooting. But take a look at this. This is the evidence of where the bullet pierced through these people's windows. My kid's bed was against this wall, and it came through right here, and it went this way and sh straight through this wall. Stray bullets. That's what pierced through not only one, but two of Sherry Ritfield's kids' rooms. It curved and hit this, and that's when I heard that pew, and it went through this bed. Houston police say two men in a white Kia drove up to King Row Apartments. One got out and started shooting at windows and cars and continued shooting as they drove off. I was laying down, and it came past the light and hit the wall right there and went in the closet and the bullet somewhere in the closet. The bullets almost hit Sherry's kids who ended up sleeping in the living room and her neighbor's kids did the same thing. You know, this is where the bullet interest came through. A stray bullet went through Sharonda Lawrence's apartment window, door, and flew all the way into the living room. I don't feel safe in these apartments anymore because my kids could have been in there. My son, any, any one of them, they could have been hit. Can't nobody bring my kids back. Community activist Quanell X says even though there's some security, it's not enough for the size of these apartments. The mayor knows what's going on. The police chief is extremely concerned. He cares about what's going on, but he doesn't have the financial resources to increase the manpower to do something about this. But you know who does have the financial resources? These apartment complex owners hmm. who are taking this monthly check hmm. from the government in the form of housing hmm. payments. As for these neighbors, their sense of security is gone. I would have been dead and I would have been my end of the life last night. Now, when it comes to the shooting that happened around 1045 last night, police don't know who did it or why. If you know anything, call Crime Stoppers at 713-222-TIPS. Reporting live from Sunnyside, Sophia Bosley, KPRC, Channel 2 News.